camera with me, showing you a whole bunch of box sets that I actually really admire most out of all my box sets. These are the box sets I admire most. There is only one Blu-ray box set, but the rest are DVD, so I don't know if that's if, if anyone cares more about Blu-rays, but I certainly like the quality of Blu-rays better, but sometimes I have to get the DVD box sets. So yeah. Let's check them out, shall we? Okay, first box set I have in the pile is the Jackass 7 movie collection. And I didn't like the set because of the fact that you get all the Jackass films. And it's just like the 7 disc set, it's fine. And it comes in this compact set that looks, I'm pretty sure this is called like an epic pack. No, not an epic pack. Wait a sec. I'm sorry guys, I was trying to uh, get the Beavis and Butthead DVD before. But yeah, we have Jackass the movie unrated. Jackass number two unrated. Jackass 2.5 unrated. Jackass 3, the actual and unrated. Jackass 3.5, the unrated movie. Jackass Presents by Grandpa, which is the theatrical. And Jackass Presents by Grandpa 0.5, the unrated. Next box that I admire most is Gilligan's Island, the complete series. Give me a sec. Okay, we have Gilligan's Island, the complete series. Spine. Back. We have the complete first season, the second season, the, the third. Which I'm gonna take all the seasons out in a sec. Okay, all of them in order. We have the complete first season. Oh no. Dropped it in the sink. Oh no. Okay. Complete first season. Spine. The artwork's a little bit off. Give me a sec. Okay, much better. Okay, so. We have our booklet. In the background, we have this like this tropical kind of thing. Dang, you got that. Yeah, then we have disc one, disc two, and disc three. Disc four and disc five, and disc six. Season two. Okay. And then the booklet. Now we also get another, like a nature terrain. We have this one, this two, and this three. The first season was blue discs. This time it's green discs. Disc four, disc five, disc six. Final season, which is season three. Spine. Back. We have a beach kind of thing. Beach terrain. Disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, disc five. And the thing about this set is that it has only five discs instead of ten, six. So yeah box that's complete and now we move on to another box set. Give me a sec. Another one of my favorites is Planet Earth, the complete series from BBC. 
awesome DVD to have. It's behind the back. It's a five disc set. Here's the back. Okay, here's the thing. Here's disc one, which has the episodes from Pole to Pole, Mountains and Freshwater. Disc two, which has Caves, Deserts, and Ice Worlds. Uh, disc three, which has Great Plains, Jungles, and Shallow Seas. Ah, it's hard to do this. Disc four, which has Seasonal Forests and Ocean Deep. Then we have Planet Earth, the Future, which has all the future, the featurettes. On the, on the back of the thing, it will show the original artwork. Yeah. Just slide it inside. It's nice and shiny. I really like that. How it's like that. Then we have another one of my favorite box sets, which is Metallica Cunning Stunts. I got this for only $6 at the store. My, my camera won't even focus on anything. There it is, $5.99 spine in the back. All the songs on disc one are So What, Creeping Death, Savage Root, Ain't My Bitch, Hero of the Day, King Nothing, One, Fuel, Bass Guitar Doodle, Nothing Else Matters, Until It Sleeps, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Wherever I May Roam, Fade the Black, and you have the Kill Ride Medley. This too has Last Keras. Last Caress, Master of Puppets, Into this Enter Sandman, Am I Evil, and Motor Breath. It actually comes with subtitles for some reason. I don't know why they they show subtitles. I mean, it's not even like a sing-along thing. It's not even something you can sing along to. Here's the inside case. We have Disc 1, which shows the uh, same artwork for the... Uh, to, for Reload, which is one of the albums by Metallica. And we have Disc 2, which has the same artwork for the album Load for Disc 2. So, yeah. Okay, just give me a sec. This case is sometimes hard to put back on. So, yeah, that's why I had to pause it. We have Stephen King Movie and TV Collection, one of my favorite box sets I ever had. And this is like an excellent box set to have. If you like the Stephen King movies like I do, I think that most of these are excellent movies. And I, I, I admire movies like like Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, Graveyard Shift. I like all those movies. I've seen The Langoliers. I, I have not seen The Stand yet. I have not seen Golden Years. You're probably saying, oh, you're full of shit. Everybody's seen those two movies. Uh, mini series, and uh, I actually have not, so I'm not actually not full of shit. I've actually never seen The Stand or Golden Years, which those two are like one of the most popular Stephen King movies and mini series. I mean, this is Spine. Heck, I'm gonna try to watch those movies actually sometime soon. This is, yeah, well, let me take the slip of her. Uh, it's hard to do this. Let me see. Okay, this is what it looks without the slipcover. Spine. In fact, there's actually this is a nine disc set because some of them are doubled up because the, the movie or miniseries is too long. You can say. You have the stand disc one. Oh, two of those. Ah, this is hard to do. Stand this two, the Langoliers, Golden Years, this uh, Golden Years Disc One, aka Part One, Golden Years Disc Two, aka Part Two, Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, and Graveyard Shift. Once Alien Quadrilogy comes in, that one's probably gonna be my favorite set. But yeah. I'm going to do an updated box set video with all my box sets. 
sometime soon. We have Ice Age Collection on Blu-ray. There's no digital copy because I, this was the very first Blu-ray I've ever used the digital copy with. And that means that I, when I first went on, I first created my Movies Anywhere account and I scanned this digital code first and I got all five films. So yeah, that's pretty amazing. This is fine. Back, I, I actually admire the artwork for this one the most because it shows Scrat hanging from the I, from the acorn and they're like on this ice thing and the Dawn of the Dinosaurs looks kind of cool and that one's not that good for artwork. I mean that artwork's kind of boring a little bit. I like the original artwork, but yeah, that one's that one's pretty cool looking. That one's nah. I mean it's colorful, but it's not my favorite. Okay. I'll, I'll release. I'll tell you about the release scene after, but yeah. Okay. The box, the case of the. We have the Blu-ray case itself. It's fine. Back. Re remember, this is only Blu-ray, so yeah. I have a Blu-ray player, so I can play these. I also have a PS4. We have the original Ice Age. Right there, it's actually a 2009 uh, release for this one. Then we have the original, one of the very first releases for Ice Age on Blu-ray. We have Ice Age, The Meltdown from 2006. I like this artwork the best because it shows them like on an ice, on a piece of ice, and the whole it's like getting flooded and everything. You have a whole bunch of ice in the water. It's just really cool. And it's like three characters. Well, actually five characters on one ice thing. It's really cool. Then we have the boring artwork for Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. I liked the DVD artwork for this one better. I have to admit it. And then we have Ice Age Continental Drift. This is much colorful than the DVD, than the original DVD that they came out with. I mean, most people don't have that DVD, but it actually is just a blue disc. I mean, it's a really hard one to find. There's just just one blue disc and it's a DVD but then uh, like they made a, an official release where they actually put like Scrat's face on the, on the uh, disc and like I'm pretty sure like the ocean behind him and it says Ice Age the continent drift it shows the logo at the top and Scrat's face like right there I thought that was pretty cool but I, I liked the blue artwork sometimes sometimes I think that but then you have Ice Age Collision Course, which this is, this kind of confuses me a bit, because this is like a mind twister right there, because you don't know which eye goes to which, but you know about Buck, because Buck is just like right there at the top, and he's just like, I, I, he's just like that, but the only one that looks just like normal, that you can see their eyes. This credit's behind you. Give me a sec, and I'll show you all the credits. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool, actually. Ice Age, Ice Age, Mountain Run, Door of the Dinosaurs, Continental Drift, Collision Course. Something off the blu ray case right now, sorry. If, not, if you can't see me or anything else, just. What was that? Okay, I found out the problem. It wasn't in correctly. It was like incorrect and it wasn't fitting in, but yeah. So, let's put this back on. And now we get to the final box that I have, which nobody really does an unboxing of this one, of this particular version, but we have. Shrek the whole story. This set is really cool actually because it's like this it shows all the characters on the front and on the back. It'll say the end right there. And it will show all the behind the deck and everything. But yeah, here's the spine. Which it actually comes with a bonus disc. Give me a sec. It's kind of sturdy so it can hold these uh these little mini packs. But yeah, we have Shrek one, the classic one, it's fine, back, the 
disc. Shrek 2. It's fine. Alright. And there's the disc. Shrek the third. It's fine. A lot of people say this one was bad. I think this one was pretty underrated. I mean, it's just like Alien 3. A lot of people say that that one was pretty bad of a movie. Well, actually, I thought it was pretty good, actually. But yeah, we have Shrek Forever After. It's fine. Back. This is the case that has the bonus disc as well. Uh, this one keeps popping out all the time. This is actually Shrek Forever After, which is called the final chapter, but I don't think it is. Actually, I, they've even confirmed a Shrek 5, so I don't know what they're going to do, actually. Uh, now that they confirmed that as a final chapter, maybe they're going to show a uh, a prequel all about Donkey, or, or maybe a Puss in Boots sequel. I mean, who knows? But yeah, we have the disc, the tail of Shrek, or something like that. That sounds pretty, pretty cool, if you ask me. The tail of Shrek sounds pretty awesome. I put this back in the box. Set. But yeah, this one was one of the best. So there you have it. We have all my favorite box sets that I own. Which, if a quick recap, Jack has seven movie collection. Billion Island Complete Series Collection, Planet Earth the Complete Series, Metallic Coming Stunts, Stephen King Movie and TV Collection, Ice Age Collection, and Shrek the Whole Story. Those are my favorite box sets. Make sure you subscribe, if you like and subscribe, ring the bell to get notified of the latest videos. Uh, now that that's off the hand, peace. I can't even put the phone down. Sorry.